Happy Hungry Wednesday. Um, I have a little bottle review to do for today. This is uh, Dan125 from the, the Homebrew Forum. Uh, .co.uk. This is his version 2 of a day down Margate. Um, it's coming in at 6.3% uh, it's described as an East Coast style IPA brewed with Vermont Ale and the Garden of England saturated hoppiness, low bitterness and as cloudy as a day at the seaside. Uh, I was lucky enough to have version 1 of this and he's interested to hear my opinions of it. Uh, he did warn me it is a little bit green in the bottle um, I plan to drink it tonight. Um, Swithering a little bit because I've just spotted that the, it was bottled on the 26th of February. Um, but it's here. I'm thirsty. We're going for it. <coughs> so, lovely hiss. Um, if any of you are chatting to Dan um, and he offers you one of his beers, and I would grab it with both hands. I have had this and I had his um, Kyvik, um IPA um, and he is a, a true hop monster. Um, he loves his hoppy beers um, and I love his hoppy beers too. Um, just a little bit of concentration to maximize this. As expected, that's a lovely hoppy nose, and uh, I was going to try and shine a light through that, but pointless. Um, <clears throat> so he mainly kegs, um, and I think he had to use more wheat here than he would have liked. Um, I think he said he'd run out of oats, um, so he relied on having the, the wheat there to get the, the cloudiness. Um, but just that little bit of foam. Just that lovely hit of, um, I think he said it was Galaxy. I'm trying to remember the other hops that he had in it, but you've definitely got the the tropical Galaxy. And it's just a lovely hoppy beer that doesn't have that mouth puckering bitterness that you sometimes get, but it's just full of flavour. Um, and Dan, this is just cracking. I knew I would enjoy it. Um, and you, you lowered expectations a little bit, saying that it was going to be that green. But yeah, um, I think I've got another New England IPA on the way from John Anderson uh, from another bottle swap. Um, and I'm really tempted to try some Vermont Ale uh, yeast in. I'm planning to do my Hoppy Vienna um, again. Um, I'm going to see how that changes up the that's Galaxy and Summit and that. Um, see how that changes things up uh, and I might try it in a couple of single hop brews as well uh, I need to see just what Cascade and Summit bring to the party by themselves so that's some future planned brews so mm, yeah not as much of a, a beer review of that um, as it possibly should be um, just to say that it's awesome <laughs> It's exactly the type of beer that I look for when I'm out. Um, I had the, the Brewdog Vermont IPA at the launch of their Tropic Thunder. Um, I was lucky that happened at the, the Edinburgh Bar. Um, and it, it's punching up there with that. It's, it's just a lovely combination of flavours. Um, the head's not holding as much as it poured. Um, but wonderful tropical um, fruits on the nose and just um, I could just sit, sit and drink this but it wouldn't make a very interesting video so mm. so I'll save that for later um, Dan cheers another awesome one um, <coughs> what 
what else has happened with me this week? I tested the gravity on my Pilgrim Smash. I did the, the Brew Day video of that on Sunday. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's down to finishing gravity already. Uh, really surprised how quickly SO4 chewed through uh, that wart. Uh, it had started at 104.2. And it was down about 104, I'm uh, sorry, 1009, 1008. Um, so it's going to come in about 4.5%, which is a bit higher than predicted uh, by Brewer's Friend. And I think that means I'll be able to do the version 2 on Sunday this week. I was going to put it in a pressure barrel, so that's alleviated some of the concerns about it conditioning because it'll have um, a bit of time in almost a, a secondary vessel. Um, so I may give it an extra week before drinking. Um, we'll see about that. Um, <clears throat> in the, the pressure barrel, and I could get on with version 2, which is going to be almost identical. I'll reuse the yeast, which might give it a bit of a bump. Um, but I'm going to crush the grain myself, and the main intention is to see just how much of a bump of efficiency that will give. So I've told you that the, the pre-crushed grain uh, came in at 104.2. And I, I spotted on Gumtree that somebody local was moving and giving up all his homebrew bottles for free. So I've got six half pint bottles, which I think I'm going to fill uh, with a bottle of each. So a little competition uh, for those of you paying attention. If you put down in the comments uh, what you think the starting and final gravity of batch two will be, which will be with reused SO4 yeast and reused, uh, sorry, and home crushed um, pale malt. Um, <clears throat> what you think the start gravity and final gravity will be of batch two. Um, the top three, I'll send a, a bottle of, uh, a half pint bottle of each, uh, and you can have some fun trying to guess which one's which. Um, so, little competition there. Um, look forward to the, your guesses on that. Uh, hope you've had a happy Homebrew Wednesday. Cheers. See you later.